Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen at St. Paul's United Church of Christ in Amityville on Thursday, July 9. And this is Quorn Vlog number 82. Today we're doing an orientation for what you can expect if you come to worship this Sunday. A week and a half ago, our consistory voted to open up the sanctuary for in-person worship on beginning on July 12th, which is this coming Sunday. And we will continue our online virtual worship live streaming. So if that's what works best for you, please continue with that. But if you are one of the people who will be coming, or even if you're just interested, here's what we're going to do. First of all, you'll see on the door we have signs that say, please wear a mask. And right there is the bin where we have had a lot of masks that were made by Connie Riker and her family. And she just let us know she's going to make a few more to make sure that anyone that arrives here will have something to wear. So I'm going to put my mask on to continue this tour because I'm going inside and anyone inside needs to be wearing their mask. So we put on our mask and we come in and you'll see a welcome sign and that has some of the things expected. Let me read some of them. Practice physical distancing before, during, and after the service. Sanitize hands before entering fellowship hall or sanctuary. Wear mask while inside. Sit only with family members or people that you're living with. And sanctuary Bibles and hymnals are not to be used at this time. Chairs in fellowship hall have been arranged for your safety. Singing is not suggested. And if you feel the need to sing, please do softly or hum. You will also have those in a sheet that will be in your oh boy. Here we go. That will be in your bulletin as an insert so that you don't have to stand here and memorize all that. It will all be there for you. And there's a sign here saying stop, don't go downstairs. Now that is reserved for for our splash program, so we will not be using that on Sunday. So even if you're used to going down there, we're not going to use bathrooms down there or go down at all. You'll see we have a hand sanitizer there. We have ordered the, the automatic kind where you just put your hands under and they come out. And uh, uh, they have not come yet. Maybe they will on Friday. Some people might need to use the elevator, so we're keeping that open. And then you would just come up the stairs or use the elevators. And then you're going to have the two choices of coming to worship either in the fellowship hall or in the sanctuary. Let's start with fellowship hall. You see the same sign, also, also some guidance about uh, not spreading germs. And if you're feeling sick, it's not a good day if you're going to be in. And then another hand sanitizing station. We will not pass the plate. So there is our offering plate right there. When you're done, you can take your bulletin home or put it here for recycling, but it won't be handed to you by somebody else. Let's go in. And you'll notice that we have arranged the seats so that there are twos, threes, fours, and even ones. So that if you come in in a group of three or four, you can sit with them. And each of these is spaced six feet or more from any other group. And then what you'll see there, the screen will come down. There is, we do have the communion table as kind of a reminder of the altar, but the screen will come down and the service will be shown there for people who come in here. It will be cool and air conditioned and uh, there'll be somebody here working um, to make sure everything is going smoothly with the screen as we continue if instead you'd like to come to worship in the sanctuary i'll tell you it's going to be a lot hotter we've moved our greeting station right here and there'll be someone here reminding you again you can put your offering here you can check out our information about what protocol to share offering here clean your hands at the end, you can put your bulletins here. And again, don't go downstairs. We're keeping that separate for the splash program. And normally, you're used to coming here, and there'll be greeters here holding out their hands and shaking your hands. We are not doing that. And we found that we're concerned that people might want to gather right here because we're used to doing that. So we're going to put them out there so that this is nice and clear. And in the sanctuary, here's what you're going to find. First of all, 
we have the large screen here and there will be a prayer that will be shared on that screen at one point and if you look around you'll see there are certain places you can sit and other ones that have bibles and hymnals so that you don't sit in those so we've marked off don't sit on a bible and that way fam a family can sit here another family two rows in front another family in between but way over there and that will keep people apart we'll have some people working in the with the technology up above and i'll be preaching and once when i'm about to sing i will lower my mask for the service or take my mask off and also for preaching but no one will be within 20 feet of me when i'm doing that good so that's what you can expect and if we have a lot of people we may even ask people at the end of the service to come. We'll let them go one row at a time so we don't have bottlenecking and a lot of people all gathered right here in the doorway. I'm going to go outside. So that's our emergency exit if you didn't know about this one. Down the ramp. Now I can take off my mask. And let me share the scripture for today. It comes from Psalm 122 and I'm going to read the King James Version. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Psalm 122, one. And our song for today is a praise chorus. And technically the, the chorus is, we have come into this house and gathered in his name. But I'm gonna change it to, let us come into the house. Let us come into this house and gather in his name to worship him. Let us gather in this place. Sorry, let us come into this house and gather in his name to worship him. Let us come into his house and gather in his name to worship him. Oh, worship him. Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord God, we give you thanks that we can gather virtually, and we've been doing that. What a gift that has been to keep us together. And we thank you that we have the opportunity to worship in person beginning this Sunday. We pray that you would keep us health, healthy and safe. And we pray that we would each give one another grace and space as we're adjusting and trying new things. And may you be honored in the way that we are doing our best to be a part of keeping this pandemic down and keeping from spreading the germs or the virus to other people. We pray for your help in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow for one more vlog this week.